dear pupils, are you ready for our word venture and language journey for today? I am Teacher May, and I will guide you in every step of the way. Are you excited to learn more today? Me too! I am so excited! So, what are you waiting for? Grab your paper, pen, and self-learning module. Let's start with our spelling time! We have five words to spell. Number one, wristwatch. Again, wristwatch. Number two, timetable. Timetable. Number three, inference. I will say that again. Number three, inference. Number four, hyphenated. Hyphenated. And the last number, number five, synonyms. Again, synonyms. Are you done? Okay, let's check your answer. Number one, wristwatch. Let's spell this out together. That's W-R-I-S-T-W-A-T-C-H. Number two, timetable. That's T-I-M-E-T-A-B-L-E. -E. Number three, inference. That's I-N-F-E-R-E-N-C-E. -E. Number four, hyphenated. That's H Y. P H E N A T E D. Number five, synonyms. That's S Y N O N Y M S. Wow, great job! Do you still remember our lesson last episode? Great! It's about filling out forms accurately. We discussed and practiced how to fill out withdrawal and deposit slips. What form or slip will you fill out if you want to keep money in your bank account? Correct! Deposit slip. What about if you want to get money from your bank account? What form or slip will you fill out? That's right! A withdrawal slip. Oh, I have samples of deposit and withdrawal slips with me. Let's try to fill out these forms. Let's try to fill out this deposit slip. Write your name and bank account number. Write the date and don't forget to fill out other required information. List the cash amount breakdown of your deposit and the total amount. And lastly, don't forget to affix your signature over your printed name. Then, let's try to fill out this withdrawal slip. Write your name and the date. Next, write the desired amount of your withdrawal in words and in figures. Lastly, affix your signature on the signature line found on the form, but only do this while a bank teller witnesses you signing it. Wow! Good job, pupils! Well done! Words such as withdrawal and deposit are formed in varied ways. Do you know how they are formed? Not yet? That's okay. Let me help you figure them out. Some words are short. Others are long. While some words are formed by combining other words. These words are called compound words. Before we dive into our lesson, let's try to answer page 2 of your self-learning module. Read the sentences carefully, then do the following. Write in column A the compound word found in each sentence, and write in column B the correct meaning of the compound word. Write your answers in your paper and let's begin. The first sentence is, I was outraged when I saw that bully pushing the boy. What is the compound word in that sentence? What do you think it means? Is it... A. Interested B. Pleased C. Shocked D. Angered 
Write down your answers and we'll check them later. Let's move on to the second sentence. The politician's plan has many drawbacks. Therefore, the people rejected it. Did you find the compound word? Now, let's see if you know what it means. Is it A. Advantages B. Problems C. Parts D. Supporters Are you done? Let's read the third sentence. I don't want to do my homework when I'm in the house. What do you think is the compound word in that sentence? Does that word mean A. Assignment B. Problem C. Goal D. Objective Let's keep working. Here is the next one. My experience with the earthquake was horrible. The wall of our kitchen cracked. Write down the compound word and choose its meaning from these words. A. Typhoon B. Hurricane C. Tremor D. Cyclone For our last sentence, let's read them together. During typhoons, classrooms are utilized as evacuation centers. What is the compound word in that sentence? Does it mean A. Room in a house B. Part of a building C. Part of a house D. Schoolhouse Now, let's check your answers. The compound word for number one is outraged. The meaning of outraged is on letter D. Angered. Number two, the compound word is drawbacks, and the meaning is on letter B, problems. Number three, the compound word is homework, and the meaning is on letter A, assignment. Number four, the compound word is earthquake, and the meaning is on letter C, tremor. And number five, the compound word is classrooms, and the meaning is on letter D, schoolhouse. Wow! Great job, my pupils! You did amazing! Let us unlock the important words before we proceed to our lesson. What is the meaning of these words? When we say synonyms, these are words that have the same or nearly the same meaning. Let's have the examples found in your self-learning module on page 2. The word classroom is synonymous with the word schoolhouse. Another example is the word outraged, which is synonymous with the word angered. When we say antonyms, these are words with opposite meaning. If the word outraged is synonymous with the word angered, its antonym will be the word pleased. And if the meaning of the word drawbacks is problems, its antonym will be the word advantages. Synonyms and antonyms are used as context clues to infer or guess the meaning of unfamiliar words in a given text. Today, we will further discuss compound words, their types, and the ways to infer their meaning through context clues using synonyms and antonyms. For us to practice inferring the meaning of unfamiliar words using synonyms and antonyms, let's try to answer activity number one. Read and study the paragraph below. Look for the compound words that were used in each sentence. Find out what they mean in these sentences, then answer the questions that follow. The girls were halfway up the tree, and when the flood water hit it midway, they held on as tightly as they could. Reaching the hill crest, they saw the destruction made by the busted dam, including the trees and plants on the other hilltop. Identify the five compound words used in the paragraph. Write your answers in your notebook.
five compound words used in the paragraph are halfway, flood water, midway, hill crest, and hilltop. Did you get all the answers right? Very good! Now, let's read the next question. Which word in the first sentence means the same as halfway? Correct! The answer is midway. Midway means the same as halfway. Are you ready for question number three? Which word in the second sentence is synonymous with the word hillcrest? Very good! The answer is hilltop. The word hillcrest is synonymous with the word hilltop. Let's read the next question. How do you call these words? Synonyms or antonyms? Great! These are synonyms. Wow! You did it right! Good job! Whoa! Water full of ice! I love it! Ice? Ice is a solid state of water. Berg? Berg means a mountain of glacier. When we join these words together, it will create a new word with a new meaning. The word iceberg is an example of a compound word. Compound words are words formed by putting two or more words together to create a new word with a new meaning. To understand the meaning of compound words, it is important to determine the meaning of each word that makes up the new word. Did you know that compound words have three types? Raincoat is an example of closed compound word. A closed compound word is written as one word with no space. Examples are newspaper, seaplane, and someone. Time zone is an example of an open compound word. An open compound word is written with space between words. Examples are mother tongue, home port, and living room. Mother-in-law is an example of a hyphenated compound word. Hyphenated compound words are words strung together with a hyphen. Examples are son-in-law and name-calling. Again, compound words have three types, and these are closed compound words, open compound words, and hyphenated compound words. How is each type of compound word written? I would like you to do activity number three on page eight of your self-learning module. Directions. Copy the following chart in your paper, then fill in the needed information based on the sentences below. The first one is done for you. Example, a playground is a place where children play. Playground is a close compound word. Playground is a place where children play. It's your turn. Are you ready? Let's begin. The first sentence is, children are taught how to read and write in a schoolhouse called a classroom. What is a compound word? What type of compound word is it? And what is its meaning? Are you done? Let's look at the second sentence. I like to play games with my brother-in-law who is the spouse of my sister. Did you find the compound word? Is it closed, open, or hyphenated? What do you think it means? Good job answering! Here's the third sentence. The line at the post office ran all the way outside the door since there are so many people inside the mail depot. What is the compound word in that sentence? Write down the type and the meaning in your notebook. Who is ready for the next sentence? Here it is! Rian loves to eat ice cream during summer because the dessert gives a cooling effect. Write down the compound word in your notebook. Write down the type and its meaning as well. Here is the last sentence. Are you ready? An afternoon nap, which is done after lunch, is popular in tropical countries. What do you think is the compound word? Write it down along with the type and meaning in your notebook. Are you done? Let's check your answers. The answer for number one is classroom or schoolhouse. 
classroom or schoolhouse is a closed compound word. A classroom or schoolhouse means a place where children are taught to read and write. The answer for number two is brother-in-law. Brother-in-law is a hyphenated compound word. Brother-in-law means the spouse of someone's sister. The answer for number three is post office. Post office is an open compound word. Post office means a mail depot. The answer for number four is ice cream. Ice cream is an open compound word. Ice cream means dessert. The answer for number five is afternoon. Afternoon is a close compound word. Afternoon means after lunch. Wow, great job! Remember, compound words are words formed by putting two or more words together to form a new word with a new meaning. Compound words may be closed, written with no space, open, written with space between words, or hyphenated, connected by a hyphen. Now that you know the different types of compound words, you may be curious how we could know their meaning. The meaning of compound words can be inferred using synonyms and antonyms. Before we end, let's have our WOW learning. Our WOW learning today is a sentence that uses every letter of the alphabet. Do you know what sentence it is? It is... The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. We often use this sentence to practice our handwriting or to test a new pen or keyboard. This type of sentence is called handgram. That's our wow learning today. For your assignment, kindly answer pages 7 and 9 of your self-learning module. We will check this in our next episode. I hope you have learned a lot from this episode. Always remember, learning a language is like a voyage of discovery. Set a course, take heart, and soon, you'll be in ship shape and Bristol fashion. Till our next day of learning episode, see ya!